right then you lot welcome back to another video we are in week nine of our 10 week dad bod to beach bod campaign we're almost there we're almost there it's in touch and distance today is a different video again today we're going to be talking about protein let's go Yes, that's right. Welcome back to the Fluffy Hair channel. I've not had a haircut, and do you know what? I don't think I'm going to. Anyway, as I said, today we're going to be talking about protein. So, three steps with protein. We're going to go over the best type of protein powder, when to take it, and how much and how often. So listen, there's a reason why protein is the most consumed supplement in the fitness industry. It's backed, for a start, heavily with a lot of research. Secondly, it's convenient, it's reasonably cheap, and it's high in protein content. Okay, so first up, let's talk about the best type of protein powder that you can buy for yourself. There's so many different types of proteins. However, whey and casein protein have the highest essential amino acid content, and they're also the best at stimulating muscle protein synthesis. The difference between whey and casein and which one is better really has to do with their digestive properties. Whey is a faster digesting protein that rapidly spikes protein synthesis for a short period of time, whereas casein is a slower digesting protein and gradually increases protein synthesis over a long period of time. So for me, whey protein is definitely the better of the two. It has a higher leucine content. And of all of the different types, come back here. Of all of the different types of whey powder, you've got whey isolate. It's the purest of the proteins. It has the cleanest amount and the most amount of protein per gram in the powder. As opposed to something like a mass gainer, which has a lot of random ingredients that for a start I can't even pronounce so I'm gonna keep away from those okay next up let's talk about when to take your protein now although many people are firm believers that protein shakes should be consumed immediately after a workout research doesn't fully support this idea a 2013 study quotes ingesting protein immediately post-workout isn't necessary if you've already had a pre-workout meal with sufficient protein. Multiple other studies support this idea by emphasizing that the one hour post-workout anabolic window may only apply to fasted training. And that if you've had enough protein before your workout, then it doesn't matter when you have your protein shake. In fact, again, you can have your protein shake at any point throughout the day. Really, this is just to boost the amount of protein that you're having in your diet. That being said, if it's easier, and for me personally, it goes back to, it is easier to actually have a protein shake after a workout, one, to fit in enough protein in a day, but also, I actually quite like the taste of mine straight after a workout. So yeah, if you've got a high protein target, like quite a lot of people do, and we're going on to that next, don't you worry how much protein you need. If you've got quite a high allowance, then yes, it may still be best to have your protein shake after a workout, just because it's convenient. Before we move on though, whilst we're on the topic of when to have protein, let's circle back to casein protein powder. And I haven't forgotten about you casein lovers, don't worry. Now, as I said, Casein is a slow digesting protein. So there really is a good gap for casein in the market and that is gonna be at bedtime. So it's really gonna help overnight muscle synthesis. If you have a scoop of casein protein, just as you go to bed, your body will slowly be absorbing that protein throughout the evening, which is actually pretty good use of time. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about how much protein you need. So a dose of around 20 to 25 grams of whey 
is more than sufficient enough to maximize your muscle protein synthesis. Having more than this per serving may provide a small benefit. And like me, I'm sure most of you don't just stick to your one scoop though, do you, per serving. So again, after a workout, I will grab my either milk or water at the moment it's water actually but i'll be popping two big scoops so about 40 grams of protein per serving for me and if you have two scoops for you as well so the benefit of having twice as much protein apart from literally having twice as much protein is that it gives you a slight increase in your muscle protein synthesis response. So ultimately, how much protein you require will entirely depend on your protein goals and your breakdown of your macros. So you're gonna to wanna to prioritize intaking protein from food sources, since they contain a variety of amino acids, uh, nutrients, and minerals. Then use protein powder as a supplement if needed. So we know that we need anywhere from 0.73 to one gram per pound, or 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of protein per body weight. So for example, if you weigh 170 pounds, you'll require about 170 grams of protein every day. You can comfortably get 130 grams of protein through your food sources and then supplement with 40 grams worth of protein in a shake, for example, every day to reach your target. Now, if you struggle to eat that much protein, of course, you can, if you can only eat 100 grams of protein a day, then you'll have to up your protein shakes. If you weigh 170 pounds, for example, you'll have to have that other 70 grams in a shape to reach that maximum amount of protein in your diet. And although of course it's better to get as much protein as possible from your food, as I said, it really does help with the nutritional value and the other vitamins and nutrients that you get with food, the benefits far outweigh protein powder, but whatever you can keep to consistently and efficiently and conveniently, lots of words, which works for you, that's of course gonna be the best thing to do. We don't need to make protein very hard to understand at all. It's really quite straightforward when you know. So if you've enjoyed today's video, do comment down below, give me some feedback. Like the video, of course, subscribe. What did I say? Subscribe. If you're new, please, thank you very much for doing that. And I'll see you next time when we're going to be in week 10. Do not miss it. It's a body reveal next week. Let's see if we've gone from dad bod to beach bod. You'll find out then. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.